bloom and grow youtube show bulbs these like you said these little potato looking like things you know um that we stick in the ground and they spurt forth the most amazing flowers so i think people get confused with the term bulb and what it actually means and what it is like how it grows and reproduces so can you kind of break down what a bulb is okay let's let's talk in um in in botanist terms Mm -hmm. just for a minute we're just going to delve into some of the botanical terms when you use the word bulb and you're a botanist or a professional horticulturalist you're talking about this swollen up thing that lives underground and pops out some leaves and flowers and roots at a certain season and then goes back underground. And it's a big energy storage system, right? It's a way to have all these carbohydrates stored underground so that that plant can survive wildfire or floods or being eaten by animals. In botanical terms, a bulb is a plant that has inflated or swollen leaves. And those things are gathered together like an onion. Mm -hmm. So an onion is a true bulb. But there are other things in botanical terms that are slightly different. So if something has, say, a swollen root, um, think about ginger or turmeric. Those are not technically bulbs. Those are actually rhizomes. And then there are all these other different different kind of of swellings, I guess, different ways to store energy underground. Mm -hmm. And that's important to botanists, but to gardeners and to me and to you, to use the general term bulb is easy and and accurate. And you know what we're talking about. Anything that lives below ground and shoots up for the season, brings us some beautiful flowers and then goes back below ground. All right. So moving forward. Make... Yeah. So moving forward, that's how, that's how we'll refer to bulb. Um, and it sounds like that differentiation is, is the type of tissue that it is, but I, I agree. We don't need to be concerned with it. It's also kind of mind blowing to really understand. Yeah. The onions that we cook with every day, those are bulbs. <laughs> I don't yeah. equate an onion with, you know, um, a daffodil or a paper white, but it's, it's the same. Exactly. Those are actually leaves. If you think about cutting an onion or if you took a daffodil bulb and cut it, you could see those layers of leaves inside that bulb. Bloom and grow, 